Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to make this female mana queen be available in your Un Unreal Engine game. This is the female version of, of the main character. At the beginning, it is not available. And how to activate it, how to make it animated. So, to demo from the beginning, I'm going to close this old project. And I don't save this. Next, I close everything. We start from beginning. Start the latest version of the Unreal Engine 4.26. As demo, I will choose the game, the third person game. This one, tutorial, female mana queen. I will create this project. Now, this is a new project. First, you click your content folder. It's under your mana queen, under your character mesh. Now, you have two versions. One is the mana queen male version. Then, another one is the female version of the mana queen. All right. To make her available, first, you just need to go to the content. And then go to the third person blueprint. Go to the blueprint. You can see the third person character. All right, this one you need to copy. You right click duplicate and you rename it at behind underscore female. Now, next, back to your content folder. Go to your mannequin. Go to your character mesh so copy the skeleton as well now we want to separate we want to separate it one is for female one is for the male so this one mannequin skeletons i right click duplicate the duplicate versions i'm going to rename it as skeleton female now name it as unreal engine for mannequin Queen skeleton female. Next. You can see the SK mana queen female, you right click it, skeletons, assign a skeletons, you assign the female version. Assign the female version for her. Should be this one. Set. So now you have a totally new skeleton mesh which bind with the female skeletons. This one I re I better rename it as Unreal Engine for female skeleton. As skeleton. All right. Now this is very clear. Next, you are going to retarget. Back to the contents. Mannequin, animations. You can see this animation blueprint, the third person animation blueprint. You just need to right click it, retarget the animation blueprint, and duplicate animation blueprint and retarget. So this one is not yet selected as the humans. You need to double click first. Sorry, not this. You need to make all the skeleton become humanoid. Missing one step here. Click the content, double click the mannequin, then character, mesh. You double click the skeletons, select the rig, change it to become humanoid rig, then save, close. Another one, the female versions and the male version both also want to do, do the same thing. 
select the rig and make them become humanoid. Save and close. Next step, go to the contents. Then, also mannequin, animations. The animation blueprint, the third person animation blueprint is here. You right click it, retarget animation blueprint and duplicate animation blueprint and retarget. For this time, you select the female skeleton. Then retarget. Now we have a new version, a new version of animation blueprints that bind to the female body mesh. Right click the third person animation blueprint that appear under the content. Right click, rename. You name it by adding underscore female behind. Next, you click here. And then, search under mannequins, animations. Under mannequin folder, you right click open a new folder, animations, underscore, female. We want to separate it. Next, you back to the content folder. And then, the animation female folder content list is here. So hold the control, click one by one. We all move to animation female. Move here. Now, the animation animation female. Next, the mannequin. Sorry. After retarget, go back to the contents, the third person blueprints, under the blueprints. You can see just now you created one, the duplication third person character female. You double click it, click the mesh here. Then, click the viewport. The skeleton, the skeleton mesh here, you change it to mannequin female, and then the animation class, you switch it to third person an animation blueprint female. Now you compile. Next, close this and delete this. Now, if you start the game, by default it is the male version, the male version of the mannequin. So in order to change the main character. You need to click edit, click project setting, then click the map and mods, click the selected game mods, default pawn class you need to change to third person character female. Now you can close and play. Now it already changed to become the female version of the mana queen. And actually, now you already have two characters. One is one is the, the male version of the mana queen, and another one is the female version of the mana queens. And both are separated blueprints. So you can you can change the female versions, you can change all the body language, the idol, and also you can you can change the walking style. Alright, let's say if I double click it, I click the character movements and if I change the maximum speed of walking to become 300. Now I compile and try to play. Now you can see. Now next modification is go to the mannequin, animation female and then the third person either run. Drag this point to the center and then save. Close. Under the third person character female, click the character movement, the maximum walking, the character movement maximum walking speeds and minimum we all change to 150 then. This is to test, to test the walking style, and play. See now, she still walk like a man. 
So we want to change this working style, we don't want this. So in order to change the, the motion file, you need to go back to content folder under mannequin, character, mesh. You see which one is the skeleton mesh of the mannequin female, this one, the skeleton mesh. You drag her out. Next, change the location to back to zero. Back to zero. And now she's here. You want to export it out as FBX file so that you can grab some animation from Mizamo. So file, export, selected. As demo, I will export it out on my desktop. This one is female manor queen. Click save. Click export. Next, open your 3D Exchange 7. This is Icon 3D Exchange 7 pipeline. Drag into here. Click OK. Then this one, you select yes. Next step, open the Mizamo. Mizamo.com. Log in. I log in just by using my Gmail account. And then upload the character. Upload the FBX file. While uploading, you need to wait for a while. Now it's done. Next. Here search the catwalk for women. I suggest you use the catwalk. Catwalk. Catwalk forward. This one. Remember, you must take in place. This is a catwalk for women. It's better. Download. Download without the skin. We don't want any skin, so choose without skin. Click download. Download. Now the download motion is here. I click here, show in folder. All right, this is an FBX file. Just now already in your 3D Exchange 7. Drag here down. When you see, it, see the animation, you drag the catwalk forward into animation. Click OK. And then click Add All to perform, it will appear here. Now you can try to click here and play and have a view, it's perfect. Now click here, export FBX. As demo, I will export on my desktop. Click OK. The target tool preset choose Unreal Engine, the game engine Unreal. But you need to untick the include geometry. We only want the animation. Click OK. Now you can see. The female mannequin catwalk forward 
mizamo.fbx is here. So we want this file back to your Unreal Engine. Go back to your content folder, mannequin, animation female, and now you are going to drag the FBX file of the catwalk into animation female. The moment that you want to import it, the skeleton you need to choose female skeleton. Then the animation length you have to choose animated time. Convert scene you need to take it, then click import. After finish import, it will appear the message log. You can just close it. Now, now you can see your third person either run, double click it. It is a blank space. So drag, drag the green color you can see. This is the walking style. At the center, you click here, delete. Press delete button to delete it. Then you can see the catwalk is here. You drag to the center. Now, she can perform a catwalk. Click save. Now try to play the game. You can see now, this female mannequin already can perform the catwalk. Then she is no more walking like a man. So anytime, you can change your your main character. The project setting now I change back to the to the mannequin male version. Where is it? project setting okay click the map and mods now I change back to I change back the default pawn class to the third person character which is the male version now then I go to the male versions the man the animations is under the mannequin folder double click the blend space Sorry, not this. Go to the third person blueprint, the blueprint. The male version is this one, third person character. Click here. I change the, the maximum walking speed as well. To make it become 150. Max and minimum also the same. All right, now I compile it. Now I can test this one. The male version will walk like a man walk like a man. If I change it to change the project setting, change back to the female version. The default pawn class, I change it to female, third person character female. Now, I play. Now as a woman, he won't walk like a man. He will walk like a girl, walk like a woman. Like that. Like that is the normal one. So now you, you already have two characters. You already, you already unlocked the female version of the mannequins. And th this is very useful. The third person character female is very useful. You can use it to retarget any of the female character in your future, in your future game developing as the starting of your project. And that's all for today about how to make the mannequin female available. And thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell to activate the notification so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive the notification immediately. See you in my next video, enjoy and happy animation and game developing.